This epic match, decades in the making, is aiming to be a true spectacle as the new trailer has shown. But did you catch all the things in it? I'm gonna break down what you might have missed, but first do me a favor, leave a like on this video, and subscribe to the channel. And with that being said, let's get started. Number 6, More Than One Fight. Let's get right to the best parts of this. The trailer for the movie showed us exactly what we wanted to see. Epic clashes between Godzilla and Kong. But what the trailer was very happy to show us was that this clash wasn't going to be a one-off. They're making sure these two battle for keeps in multiple arenas. We see the battle on the aircraft carrier, as well as a city that looks like Tokyo, which would be fitting, as Japan is where Godzilla first emerged, technically. This is important for various reasons, not the least of which is the fact that the first recent Godzilla movie did the less is more approach to things, while the King Kaiju, King of the Monsters, did better, but then got flack for too much fights and effects, which is really dumb when you think about it. But here we see that we'll be getting at least two battles between these two, and ensure that fans are satisfied more than likely and if they're not well let's not dwell on that shall we number five the newest people on skull island kong skull island is what introduced the most recent version of kong and it showcased why the king of ape was a boss in all the right ways however if you notice the people who are ferrying the great ape to the mainland we presume are not the people we met in the skull island movie remember the film starred tom hiddleston among others but here we have a brand new cast and crew, including a young girl who can communicate with Kong in some form. So here they're portraying Kong as a more calm and nurturing spirit who's willing to help out, which is a slightly different thing from Skull Island. But considering the fight that he's going to have, it makes sense that they need to go and make him a more well-liked kaiju than the previous ones we've met, Godzilla included. Number 4 there was a war. Another element of the trailer that might be lost on some people is that there was apparently a previous war featuring the kaiju. We're not speaking of what happened in the King of the Monsters, the whole world was a battlefield in that fight, but rather a more ancient war that apparently featured Kong and Godzilla going at it. They even showed a bloody Kong-sized handprint and the line that they were the last ones standing. Doesn't that mean that these two have clashed before in this current universe? That might add more intrigue to things. Number 3. Something is provoking him While there are plenty of new characters in Godzilla vs Kong to enjoy, there are some characters who return from the previous movie, not the least of which is Stranger Things star Millie Bobby Brown, as well as veteran actor Kyle Chandler. Both of them note that something is wrong with Godzilla, and that everyone is confused as to why Godzilla is attacking people for no reason. If you recall, at the end of the last movie, Godzilla became the undisputed king of the monsters and said kaiju bow to Godzilla before going back to their homes. So why would Godzilla's personality shift? The answer might be dark forces. In the trailer, we get brief glimpses of some sinister looking characters, one of them noting that they are in dark times and that seems to indicate that they want to change things. So given that, does that mean that these two, or some organization, are trying to go and control Godzilla? This is a thread that has been shown in the previous movie, so it wouldn't be totally out of the realm of possibility. Number 2. Kong has an axe. Easily one of the dopest elements of the trailer is that Kong eventually finds himself with a giant axe, presumably one that he gets from Skull Island or some other place where he reconnects with his past or the past of the kaiju. The axe is not only Kong sized, it's apparently able to endure an atomic breath blast from Godzilla, which if you recall is pure radiation and thus not exactly something that a normal axe should endure. Whether this will be the thing that kills Godzilla, or just straight up evens up the fight is unclear, but it's gonna be fun watching him go toe to toe with a king lizard with that axe as a weapon. Number one, more monsters. Finally, we see in the trailer that these two kaiju aren't the only ones throwing down. We see multiple winged kaiju going after Kong at some point. If they are just the beginning, then we might get more kaiju sized beatdowns as the movie goes on. And with that being said, there you have it everyone, a look at the Godzilla vs Kong trailer and how things might just break down in the film. Are you excited for how this is going to go? Who do you think will bend in the final battle of these two epic behemoths? Or is there another threat that we need to learn about? Let me know in the comments below, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.